I hate chemistry and I even prefer physics to chemistry. Every time, equation, equation, shiba. Imagine we are calculating chemicals. Chemistry is my worst subject. God forbid. Gosh, why are you letting chemistry destroy you? Like, you should actually be the one destroying chemistry. I know you find chemistry difficult, but trust me, after watching this video intentionally and practicing everything I'm going to say in it, your performance will greatly improve. You're not going to be the best just yet, but your performance will greatly improve. And you're going to find this video 100% beneficial as you're preparing for your examinations. So, quick intro, my name is Soba Benita and let's hop in right into the video. The first thing you need to destroy chemistry and show chemistry that you're not fearing it though is to shift your mindset, is to fix your mindset and change your perspective and change the way you see chemistry as a subject. I've mentioned this in my other videos. Me mentioning this more than two times is to show you how important it is. Science has even proven it that your mindset affects every other thing you do. So if you want to start studying chemistry, if you want to improve in chemistry, you need to you, your mindset needs to change you know how you can change your mindset those limiting words like i can't do it i hate it just like i stated in my in the intro of this video they're only going to limit you like if you begin to use the word i cannot i cannot understand this your brain is going to like decode it okay she cannot let's not stress ourselves let's just go and relax but if you're like i can do it your brain will be like she's still active let's 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 function you know the brain works on what you what you what you think and what you say that's why they say there's power in the tongue so just speak positive things about chemistry be like i can learn this subject i can improve on this subject i'm going to try harder in this subject rather than being like god who made chemistry like what kind of subject is this like god forbid Please don't don't have that kind of mindset. That mindset is only going to limit you. It's only going to make you not to put in your best. But when you're being, you know, when you're being optimistic and positive about the subject, you know, you'll find yourself putting in your best a lot more easier than when you're being like, I hate this subject. I better let me just put it out away. So changing your mindset is the first thing. I cannot tell you to go and start studying without you changing your mindset first. It's not going to work totally not it's not going to work your mindset first needs to be fixed so if you want to become a guru in chemistry you have to love the subject whether you like it or not the second thing you need to show chemistry that i can defeat you is to understand the basics what do i mean by basics i mean the foundation of things i mean the simple things first before evolving to complex things like you cannot go into complex chemistry without understanding basic chemistry so when you're studying chemistry you start from the basics you start from the simplest of simplest things before you evolve just like physics different concepts arise from other concepts so if you're going to study the higher concepts without first understanding the the simpler concept you are just working in vain that's why schools uh they produce curriculum or whatever you have ss1 work ss2 and ss3 work different levels of progression, different level of complexity. SS1 work is basically simpler than SS2 work than SS3 work. So if you're just starting out and you're going to SS2 work, how do you think you're going to excel? It's just a point out that you need to understand the basics. For example, you cannot start studying or drawing organic compounds without you first knowing what organic chemistry is. Like, it's totally not possible. You can't start balancing chemical equations without understanding chemical formulas and their symbols. You can't go into... Um, um, study of hydrogen as an element or oxygen as an element without first having a background knowledge of what the periodic table and how its elements are arranged in it you can it's it's not going to work probably it could work but you will not understand better like your understanding will be will just be scattered trust me and everything in chemistry is just connected for example if i were teaching someone and probably i'm teaching the person um hydrogen as an element and i find that the person is finding it very difficult to understand maybe i tell her that hydrogen is in group one hydrogen is in period one and she's like what's a group and what's a period i'll be like oh you don't have a background knowledge on this and it will require me going back to periodic table for her to understand it because when she understands the periodic table she'll be able to understand hydrogen much more better so if you're studying something and you find that it's not flowing, it's not entering your head. Go and check back. Check back. Don't, 
check the things that are confusing you and check your previous topics to see if you find something there it's just an indication that you're not you're not yet fit for that topic you know start with the basic things first and the major the tip i want you to go home with from here is to start small even in business and everything that in you, you do on in this life they always tell you to start small even in study studying all these scientific subjects you have to start from the basics and then evolve evolve to study more complex things you know so if you want to show chemistry that benita is or you are able level up you know another tip that is also going to help you defeat chemistry is to use additional learning resources right now you're probably still in secondary school you're probably preparing for exams or you're in your first year second year whatever of the university and i can tell you if you're still relying on your class notes or your test books my dear you're wasting your time if you're still waiting for your lecturers or your teachers to come and break things down for you like <laughs> like are you in the 21st century like you have to level up level up on your own if your school has not leveled up level up on your own the internet now is more is more accessible and you should utilize it in the best way possible even in your academic apps like youtube please don't underestimate the power of youtube youtube is like a game changer there's nothing you can't find on youtube trust me let me tell you youtube is actually a great website for you to study great app or whatever for you to study nothing that can be found on youtube any topic you study any subject you study and you find that it's not really flowing and your teachers did not explain it in a way that you know is giving just go on youtube you meet different tutors tutors that they have this gift of teaching as in eh god please use youtube use youtube the, i will some list of youtube people of youtube tutors i'll list them here so you can see them another thing for you to do is to use study groups use study groups the right way one secret about study group don't go to study groups when you've not studied, when you're just blank. Study first before you go and enter study group so that what they're saying will not sound new to you and what your concern will mainly be on is to ask questions, you know, and give contributions. This one, eh, hmm, chemistry will not be able to grab you again. If you if you know that, eh, you want to, you want chemistry to, to fall at your feet, practice again and again. Very, very important anything you learn like when you study for the first time it gets stored in your short-term memory and when you don't practice that thing again to fly you just like songs songs that you learn why do you think you learn them to heart because you're constantly singing it again and again maybe one kind new song that come out and you love it so much you will sing it again and again but you don't love chemistry like that. That's why I said you should shift your mindset first. And then when you shift your mindset and you study, you start from the basics and learn. The next thing for you to do is to practice what you've learned again and again. That's the only way you're going to learn it. Ask these questions. Any question you come across in chemistry, do the revision questions. Ask yourself questions. Think about what you've read and review your notes. Good, good, good. Finally, but not the last thing to do is to practice active recall and famous technique famous technique you're probably hearing it for the first time i started using it and it's actually great active recall i've already explained it a couple of times so let me just run through it again i want to spend this time on famous technique so in active recall you're just asking yourself questions when you're doing some kind things like this when you're just washing your plates you're washing your clothes and you don't want to think about food or you don't want to think about it. you start thinking about the book you read and you'll be asking yourself can i still remember can i still remember what organic chemistry is can i still remember the compound for ethanoic acid like all these kind of things that's what you call active recall your act your your mind is actively engaged to try to recall those things you learned three days ago two days ago one day ago and again this new one that i'm introducing to my introducing is the famous technique i just started using this one recently i started using it with biology and it's good it's good in helping me remember things more and helping me understand better here you basically okay let me just see how i do it since i have nobody to explain to, i'll just go in front of a mirror and start explaining everything i have read 
So I will study biology in my handouts, you know, university student. I will study my handouts completely from beginning to end. Close the handouts, drop it to one side, face my mirror, and I'll explain everything how I know it without looking at my textbook. That's how I see famous technique. That's how I perceive it. But it's better if you try and explain it to a human, you know. But since there are no humans around, I use my mirror to look at my face. Or you can even do it with a baby. The baby that doesn't know anything, you can just start explaining everything to that child. So if you finish studying chemistry and you want to see if you can, you know, if you can actually, if you, if you actually understood what you read, then practice the famous technique. Try it out today. Trust me, you're going to love it. Just explain everything A to Z, how you know it. Explain it as if you're explaining it to students. Hope you found... No, no, no. I'm sure you found this video helpful. So please do the needful. Please like this video because I'm sure you already, you, you love the video already from seeing the first part, you love it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment on anything, comment on active recall, famous technique, study method that you think, or study method that you're employing that help you, study method that you think that I missed out in this video. Any questions you have, please feel free. I'm here for you, okay? And yeah let me just remind you again please don't let chemistry destroy you don't let chemistry be your problem chemistry is a piece of cake you know say, say it chemistry is a piece of cake chemistry is no big deal i can defeat chemistry and that is all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching to this point and i'll catch you in my next video bye